Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about future perfect tense. By the end, you will understand its structure, some keywords, and its main use. So, without any delay, let's get started. First of all, let's see the structure of future perfect tense. The structure of future perfect tense is as follows subject plus will have or shall have plus v3 that is past participle plus object now let's look at some common keywords often paired with this tense by next week by next month, by next Sunday, by this time tomorrow, by the end of this week, by the end of this month, by tomorrow, by 12 o'clock, etc. Moving on, let's talk about its primary use. It is used to express an action that will certainly be finished by a specific point in the future. Let us see some examples. I will have gone to my home by the weekend. By the time you arrive, I will have finished my homework. She will have completed her degree by the end of this year. They will have moved to their new house by next month. He will have saved enough money to buy a car by the summer. We will have visited three countries by the end of our trip. The team will have won the championship by the next Saturday. I will have read the entire book by the time the meeting starts. By this time next year, she will have started her own business. You will have received your results by the end of the week. They will have celebrated their anniversary by the time we join them. These are some example sentences and that's all for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.